Hey guys, welcome to another beer inspection. Today I'll be inspecting Shipyard Pumpkin Head Ale. Hi, you doing guys? Um, I'm continuing my series on pumpkin beers. Um, if you haven't already checked out my previous pumpkin beer reviews, um, I've reviewed Dogfish Head Pumpkin Ale and um, Weyerbacher Imperial Pumpkin Ale. So check those out if you, if you haven't. Today I've got Shipyard Pumpkin Head Ale. This one might be a little different in the sense that this one's lower in ABV. It's 5.1%. And um, there's not that much information on the bottle in the sense that it doesn't say if it's brewed with a real pumpkin. I went on their website and it doesn't really clarify if it's if it's a real pumpkin or not. The re reason I'm skeptical is because on the bottle it says malt beverage with natural flavors added. Natural flavors added. So I'm not sure if that natural flavor is it's going to be pumpkin or I just don't know. Uh, on their website it gives you a commercial description which I'm going to read off real quick. It says shipyard pumpkin. Pumpkinhead Ale is a crisp and refreshing wheat ale with delightful aromatic and su subtle su spice flavors. So, and this one they released in 2002, and Shipyard itself, it says on the cap, is they were established in 1994. So, let's just get to the specs on this and we'll talk more about this beer. Shipyard Pumpkinhead Ale is a pumpkin ale style of beer. It's brewed by Shipyard Brewing Company. They're located in Portland, Maine. Has an ABV of 5.1%. It's available from September to October. Um, also want to note that Shipyard produces another pumpkin beer. It's called um, Shipyard Smash Pumpkinhead Ale. And that's their imperial version of a pumpkin ale. This one's 5.1%. And the imperial version is going to be more comparable to the Weyerbacher and the Dogfish Pumpkinhead pumpkin beers I tried. Um, I w intend to do a review on that, but the store I go usually go to, they're not carrying it, so I'm going to have to go somewhere else, and I hope hopefully I'll find it. Also, I just want to mention that Shipyard, they, they distribute in 41 states, so if you live in the states, there's a good chance um, your state carries Shipyard. I don't want to waste any more of your time, so let's get this inspection started, guys. All right, so leaves a very clear golden body, um, some carbonation, small tiny bubbles, uh, off white, one finger head, very creamy. I'm surprised that it's very you know very golden and clear. It lacks a little color. Um, expecting a little more. I'm gonna give this a two and a half out of five and as you can see the heads slowly dissipating away so two and a half out of five let's get to the aroma guys okay the, the nose on this everything's very underwhelming um, just you just get that watered down aroma the cinnamon is watered down the um, the first thing that hits you is the cinnamon and the um, multi -car caramel aroma. There's this very, very subtle um, hint of um, pumpkin pie, sweet pumpkin pie. That's very subtle. You gotta dig down deep to actually to find it. But yeah, the, the first thing when you smell this, the first thing you're gonna, it's gonna hit is the cinnamon and the, um, the, the malt. So I wish it was a little stronger. I'm gonna give this a a 5.5 .5 out of 10. So let's get to the taste on this, guys. Before I get started, I want to give a shout out to Hey Hey 2045 and the Beer King for commenting on my last video. So thanks a lot, guys, and cheers. The Right away, the 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 finish—it's very watered down. 
I can I sense the the spices in the front. Yeah, it's just got this um sweet um just like a sweet malt and like this the cinnamon the nutmeg all in the front, but then that just vanishes away in the back end. It's very watered down. It's got a watery texture, very light body. Soft carbonation. The 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 mouthfeel isn't that great. Like I said, the watery, the watery texture, and the watered down finish is not that great either. Not really too impressed. And I'm not really comparing this to the Imperial Pumpkin Ales I tried because it's just a different league with 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 a higher ABV. It's just gonna be different. So I'm gonna give this a a um, five and a half out of ten. So let's get to the final inspection and I'll wrap it up, guys. Welcome to the final inspection of Shipyard Pumpkinhead Ale. When I think of the taste on this beer, all I can think of is that watered down finish. It just it just didn't do it for me. Um, the lack of flavor, the lack of um, the depth and the taste. It just it just didn't hit the spot. Considering the price, which is, which was for a six pack, which is pretty high, considering what I just experienced, um, I'm gonna give this a 67 out of 100, which is a D plus on my scale. I know that's kind of harsh, but I mean, if I just can't give this a higher score, I just I wouldn't feel right. If you've tried this beer before, let me know what you think about it. If you liked it or didn't like it, um, tell me your experiences um, in the comment section below. Also, for the viewers that don't use YouTube that much and would like to stay updated on my videos, um, I have a Facebook fan page that if, if you like my Facebook fan page, um, you can stay updated that way via Facebook. Also, I'm on Twitter. You can check out my Twitter and um, have my website, thebeerinspector.com. So all three sites I, I upload, my videos are uploaded, so you can stay updated either way. And um, all the links to Facebook, my, my website, and um, Twitter, everything's in the description section below. So check that out. And thanks for watching my video. And as always, have a good day, have a good night, and cheers.